Savior because He healed my heart and He changed my name forever free. I'm not the same. I thank the Master. I thank the Savior.
That's not something that we have to work up, okay? We're not hyping anything up here this morning. This is an authentic response to what Christ has, has completed, all right? We're, we're praying this morning before the service, and, and we got on to the finished work of the cross. And, 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 and the finished work of the cross is not meant to lead us to, like, chastisement, going, oh, I'm not good enough, I'm a worm, and I've only just made it because of thank you, Jesus. No, but the finished work of the cross releases joy, releases hope, releases freedom, because there's forgiveness, <laughs> there's no shame. Our identity is secure, is formed, is complete in Jesus himself. The finished work of the cross is why we come this morning. And so if there's any part of you this morning that's still kind of holding back, <laughs> Why? It's done. It's finished. And so step in in the authentic measure with which God gives you. Yeah? You don't have to ramp anything up. You don't have to be an extroverted, you know, oh, I'm so joyful today. Just be yourself. But come fully <laughs> with your whole heart surrendered and, and, and just thankful, grateful for what Christ has completed for us this morning. Yeah? You're invited. This is a platform for you to come. This room is available. This space, this time is available for you to fully step in and receive afresh all that he has done. Amen? Come on, let's do it.
is surely in this place we won't be quiet to shout out your praise there's joy in the house of the lord our god is surely in this place we won't be quiet to shout out your Hosanna, 
to the things unseen. Show me how to love like you have loved me. Break my heart for what breaks yours. Everything I am for your kingdom, Lord. As I walk from earth into eternity. Yeah, yeah. We're going to sing this. Guys, I just want to remind you, because some of you are singing Hosanna, and you, you're just singing Hosanna. And you've forgotten what it means. Hoshiana. Save now, God. And when we declare Hosanna in the highest, we're saying, God, let your kingdom manifest itself in every area of my life and experience. We're declaring the Lordship of Jesus over all that we can see and experience. Lord, let your salvation come into my circumstances and life. Yeah. part of the first verse. I see the King of glory coming on the clouds with fire. The whole earth shakes. The whole earth shakes. I see the King. I see the King of glory Coming on the clouds with fire, the whole earth shakes, the whole earth shakes. Hosanna, Hosanna, 
feel that we need to go into a time of intercession right now for our nation. Just a few moments, just a few moments. The whole earth shakes. Everything that can be shaken is being shaken right now in the world today, and our nation is no exception. You know, three years ago, we were praying that the, that the, the, the drought would end, <laughs> and now a lot of our nation has been covered by flood. The Lord saves. Save, Lord. So I just want you to go just into groups of two or three, just for a few moments as the band continues to play in worship. Let's just intercede for our nation, Australia. Lifting up the needs of the people who are affected by these floods down south. Lifting up the governments of our land. Lifting up the people. Just for a few moments, let's intercede. Father, we do indeed lift up the people of Australia too, Father God, from First Nations through to Last Nations. Father God, everyone that calls Australia home, Father, we ask for your intervention in our lives, your divine mercy to again just wash over this land, Father God. We particularly bring before you those in flood-affected areas. Father, we pray for very real and physical help, Lord God, that you would answer their need at this hour. And Father God, for their their very real need, their spiritual need, Father God, would be answered by you. Father God, turn the hearts of men, women, and children towards you in their need, we pray, Father, for your mercy to come, Lord, we pray, Father, for your mercy upon our, on our governments, Lord God, the leaders of our nation, for wisdom, Lord Jesus, for understanding, for a turning of hearts towards you. Save now, Lord God, we pray, this nation of Australia. We love her, Lord God. You love her. We love her people. You love her people. And so we pray in accordance with your word, Father God, for your kingdom to come and your will to be done in this land. In Jesus' name, amen. As we continue to worship, guys, I want to just draw your attention. We have the Australian flag on our offering buckets here. (laughs) As we worship, I invite you to bring your offerings. If you've come prepared, if if you're part of this house, if not then that's fine. And if you come to release your offering, then come to do that as an act of worship. We do this in worship. Also, following the service, there are offering boxes at the back of the church and there's a QR code if you like online giving. But even if you do that after the service, yeah, as you do that, just pause and go, this is my my worship to you, Lord, my giving of my funds. Because it's, again, reminding us that our trust is in you. Not in our own ability to make money, but our trust is in you, God, because you are worthy. You are worthy. Free. 
so good to begin a work in me. He is faithful to fulfill. The one who so good to begin a work in me. He is faithful to fulfill. The one who so to begin a work in me, he is faithful to fulfill. The one who so good to begin a work in me, he is faithful to fulfill. You've gone before I know that you've even gone 
to win my You come back with the head of my enemy You come back and you call it my victory Comes my greatest defense. It leads me from the dry wilderness. And all I did was pray. All I did was worship. All I did was bow down. All I did was stay still. Sing hallelujah. And hallelujah, you have saved me so much better. Transform into your beauty. That a king like you come for a wretch like me and transform me into your beauty.
church. Transform into your beauty. You've transformed into your beauty. much better than yours. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So much better than yours. Would a king like you would come for a wretch like me Transform me into your beauty. Would a king like you would come for a wretch like me and transform me into your beauty? Oh, how we love you. Oh, how we love you. Oh, how we love you. We love you. Oh, how we love you. How we love you. Oh, how we love you. How we love you. We love you, Lord. Oh, how we
like I'm surrounded when I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded when I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded when I'm surrounded by you. It may look like Folks, I've had the scripture on my mind for about a month now. Isaiah 65, this is God talking to his people. I revealed myself to those who did not ask for me. I was found by those who did not seek me. I'll read that again. I revealed myself to those who did not ask for me. I was found by those who did not seek me. We have a God full of grace and mercy for we have a God full of grace and mercy. And then he says to a nation that did not call my name, I said, here I am. Here I am. And I really feel pressed this morning. It's like it's one thing knowing where God is. He's standing there saying, here I am. And you can have the attitude, okay, that's okay, God. I know where you are. You're over there. But now is the time. Now is the time. It's not Dayton. It's not a standoff. You've got to be where he is. If not to survive what's coming. That's what right relationship is. It's being where he is. God is calling. Here I am. Here I am. And the only place you can be is where he is. Amen, Father, we, we acknowledge that you are the one who goes before we even know you've gone. You're the one that goes into our battles, Lord God, and turns the enemy's head upon itself. You are the one who was calling us, Lord, even before we were calling your name. You are the one, Lord God, who came for wretches like us. Amazing grace. Yeah. Amazing grace. How sweet is your sound. This sound of grace, this song of heaven, Lord, that you're singing over our lives, over the lives of our families, over the lives of your people. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. Lord, your salvation is complete. Your ways are beautiful, are wonderful. <sighs> Would that we could even just begin to grasp a hold of even a, a fraction <laughs> of your ways.
so much higher than ours, so much more wonderful than we've ever dreamt or imagined, Lord. But for now, for now, Lord God, in our, in our state, this side of eternity, Lord God, for now we are content to turn our whole hearts toward you, to turn our faces toward you, to look to you, to call upon you, to know you, Lord, as you have revealed yourself to be known. And we're so grateful that you've not kept us in the dark, <laughs> that that which was kept hidden for so many years, Lord, you have revealed now through your son, Jesus. And you are revealing now through your Holy Spirit, Lord, in our midst, that you reveal daily, Lord, through your word. Father God, that you reveal through our conversations and through the relationships, Father God, that, that you anoint and that you lead us to. Thank you, Lord, that you are leading us always. You're always speaking. Always good. <laughs> always gracious. Always loving. Never fed up. Never impatient. Never disappointed that your posture toward us is always with open arms and open heart. He's a good God. He's a good God. Yeah. yeah. I just remembered the poem that Tanya read, wrote and read a couple of weeks ago, and I just feel to, to bring it again. It's called Before. And she quotes from Revelation 13, the lamb who was slaughtered before the world was made. And the poem follows, before. Before you made us, you made a way to be with us. You made a way, for we went our own way, away from you. Before we went away, you made a way. Jesus is the way. Jesus is God with us. God is for us. For before us, God made the way to be with us. Jesus is God with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can, let's say it one more time. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah. For he has saved us. He, he has made a way for us. <laughs> so good. Let's thank our team this morning. Thank you, guys. Wow. Welcome to the house, folks. And if you're visiting here, if you're new here, welcome. Uh, it's so good to have you. We have a beautiful guest preacher this morning, but before I introduce her and her daughter, um, we're going to take care of some family business before we get onto that because we want to let you just have time for ministry, Caitlin, and, uh, and to, to finish out the service this morning. So um, uh, we've got a bunch of shoe boxes over here, so we're going to do something with that. Where's Glennis? Oh, come and, come and share with us to update Glennis, and, and we're going to pray these out. Yep. Thanks, family. We've got 329 boxes here. Praise God. It was only 276 last year, so we've gone higher, which is great. Now, you need to understand that every box that goes out to a child in a developing country goes as a gospel arrow. Because when this, the boxes are given out in the villages, it's an outreach event. So a gospel message is given with a big flashcard pictures. And then on every box, the child gets in their own language the same story that they've heard in the flashcard. So they go home with a book, even if they can't read, with the pictures and they've heard the story. And the, the, the testimonies that come back, over a million children each year give their hearts to Jesus. <laughs> Churches are established in villages. So when we pray over these boxes this morning, we're sending... As our church, we're part of this mission venture and we're sending the gospel into many places around the world. So thank you so much. And thanks to Virginia and Wilma who did a lot of the shopping and the packing and all of you that had a part in it. We just want to honour you and thank you for this fantastic event today. Thank you. 
Yeah, let's, let's thank Glennis, because without someone spearheading this movement, it wouldn't be happening. How many? 320? 329. So, um, yeah, either stretch out your hands, or if there's a few that would come and just lay hands on the boxes as we just... Lord God, we just bless the 329 children that are going to receive these gifts in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for not only the lives that they're going to go into, Father, but the homes that they're going to go into and, and the impact that these boxes, Lord, these very simple gifts are going to make in Jesus' name. Father, we just speak blessing over the, the, the gospel material and the fact that your word will be shared and proclaimed through the giving of these gifts. And Father, we, we look forward to hearing in eternity, maybe, of the harvest that you bring from these shoeboxes. Father God, we pray for many, many, many more lives to be saved in the name of Jesus, for souls to enter your kingdom. Father, for whole families and neighborhoods, communities to be touched. Lord God, as you continue to meet practical, physical needs of these places, Lord, but also these beautiful, beautiful needs of just simple gifts in Jesus' name. And Father, just, Lord, as, as it goes from this house, I just pray you bless all the generous hands that, that prepared these boxes, that contributed to these boxes, that, that put them together, Father God, that you would bless those lives, Lord, that we would continue to be a house that gives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Awesome. So good. Um, when do we, we're carting them out after the service or no, through the week? Okay, after the so if you can help out after the service, just come and see Glennis. Uh, that would be wonderful. Just a couple of things really quickly uh, before we move on. Um, I don't have a list of announcements. Praise God. But I do want to let you know, um, this is something, just a timely thing. I want, to, I want the house here to be aware, and, and you're invited to come as well. But Wednesday week, uh, Wednesday the 2nd of November, we're going to be hosting here uh, a night for the intercessors of the Sunshine Coast. So this has been something that's been on on on, on our heart for a while to, to to bring about, but it's come you know in step in time as the um, the five um, you guys get like around the coast there are ministers fraternals, uh, pastors networks, and in the last year and a bit those five leaders have got together. They've been building relationship. Uh, we had a Pentecost. Um, combined churches service on Pentecost Sunday. There was a pastors gathering, I think, back in early July of a lot of the pastors on the Sunshine Coast. And now those five leaders have got together and they've said, what, what are we sensing is next? And the answer has been, call the intercessors together. And so they've asked us to host that. And so we're going to be doing that here on Wednesday, the 2nd of November. If you're an intercessor, um, sometimes those intercessors are hidden, right? We don't know. Um, but you're welcome to come. Uh, if you know those who have been praying diligently um, for, particularly for this region of the Sunshine Coast, then we please get the word out. Um, but you're welcome to come here. And we're not sure what to expect for that night. We're going to have a time of worship and we're going to have a time of connection. But my hope and my prayer is that it would lead to greater connection, yeah, relational connection and, and cohesive strategy of the intercessors of this whole region of the Sunshine Coast. So be in prayer for that, and you're invited to come out on that night as well. And um, this Wednesday night, we have a young adults dinner at our place. Come and see us if you want more information on that. And um, Thursday night is a ladies' clothes swap. If you see Evie for that, there's a brochure out there. Next Sunday is Missions Sunday. We're going to celebrate the missions that we're involved with. Bring cash for baked goods. <laughs> I'm just repeating this for the sake of the people online, all right, because you guys can all hear Tim, but they can't. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Joel, yeah, so Joel is heading. Come on. I'm taking off on Friday. I'll be gone for three Sundays, but I'm going via London. I'm going, I'm going to take a quick jump over to see Elise in Israel because she just moved flats, and I get to drill holes and do dad stuff. But then I'm going back to Wales to teach for the week. And so, really, I, I just want I, want, I want to carry this house with me. I don't want to go on my own, so thanks. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so stretch out your hands to Pastor Joel. Father, we thank you for this man. We love him, Father God. You love him. We thank you that you are sending him on purpose. Lord God, you bless his time with Elise, Lord God, dad-daughter time. Father, and as he goes to Wales to teach, Lord, bless 
the, the words of his heart and his mind, Lord, as they come out and as they reach the hearts and ears of students. And Father, we just speak great expansion over what Joel carries all around the world. Father God, this, this insight, this teaching in Jewish roots, Lord, our place in Israel's history, Father God, we bless it. May it just continue to expand and, in, and be enhanced. Lord, enhance your kingdom and grow your church through this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's introduce, let's introduce <laughs> Caitlin together. Come on, she, come come on, on yeah, come we'll, on. we'll introduce Caitlin. Well, look, um, Caitlin, it's wonderful to have you here. <laughs> and look, this um, Caitlin we've just met this morning, and she is a bubbly, vibrant, beautiful woman, and she's travelling here with her daughter Tara, and uh, and also her granddaughter, and who who can't be with us this morning. But I just think that's amazing yeah. that three generations of the same family. Yeah. Uh, journeying together and spreading the gospel together. So, Flame Tree, would you please give a warm welcome to Caitlin Rice as she comes to share? Yeah. Yeah. Everything that has been shared, wow, Jehoshaphat, mm. I got that this morning. Yeah. And you know what it is, your word for all of you, and even you who are not here yet, Christ mm. is in you, the hope of glory. And I have more to come. Yes. No, you must tell me, Pastor Stewart, yes. Yes. how long have I got? <laughs> as long as you need. Oh, no, no, but no. That, we, we do. No, that's we, not good enough. We aim to finish around 11. 11. So what about 45 minutes. Oh, okay. Is that all right? Oh, uh, um, I, absolutely, because my daughter will be saying right. the last 10. Yeah. And then she'll do five. Yeah. Kevin knows all about it. Thank you, you. Pastor You're Stewart and Pastor Joel so much for having us. I mean it. Thank you, Lord. There's so much I wanted to talk. I want to talk about revival and everything, but here's a word for you. And I'm going to, I'm going to pray Psalm 122. Whoopsie. Whoop. Now, here's the thing. Have you, now listen to it, and don't think this is a catch thing that I want to do. Have you the testimony of Jesus? Hands up who has to God. Who's the testimony of Jesus? Whoopsie, come on. Who's, okay, put your hands down. Who's born again of God? Hands up. Real, real, real to daddy. Hands up. Keep your 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 hands up. Darlings, just for a few more seconds. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Whoopsie. Oh, we praise God. We give him all the honor and glory. Now, you have to be loose because he set us free one day. He set us free. Darlings, don't be afraid. Oopsie. This is so fantastic. Now, I asked you had you got the testimony of Jesus. I just want to make sure I have it right. Okay. You were singing. Where's the, where's the praise and worshipers? Hands up. I want to see you. Praise and worshipers. Okay. This morning early, God had me up. I was asleep at maybe half eight or nine. And then God woke me up alive in the spirit. See, this is what he does. Now, in case you don't know it, I'm going to go from Billy to Jack. That's what we'd say in Ireland. I want to see you smile at me. Whoopsie. Hallelujah. And I woke up, at, I, I was looking at the watch, and I thought, is it six o'clock already? And then I, I looked at it again, and I looked again, and I looked again. And you know what time it was? Half 11. I had half 11 till half three with my daddy. 
Urabasaka amakaya. Oh, I said, God, get it right in me. Get it right in me. Now, I asked you, have you the testimony of Jesus? Then you played, I thank God. Come on, boys. I, I, at some point, pastor, can I, can I get them just to, oopsie, do it just again? And we'll all get up and dance together. You'll have to move back the chairs and everything. But are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? Come on, darlings. Are you ready for this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. So you see, we, we were beggars. You were, maybe it's another song, but it doesn't matter. But he made us royalty. Yeah. Who did that? Who whistled? Oh, boy, oh, boy. What I want, I want when we get up and we, oh, we just dance to him, or whatever way you want. You stand still or sit or whatever. But I want the whistles. I want the worship. You know, they're very wild in heaven. Oopsie. They're very wild in heaven. So listen to this. So John, he had the vision. This is in Revelation 19. So John had the vision. This is for each one of you. Remember the word of God for you who are born again of God. Remember the word of God for you who are born again of God. You see, we're born again of who? God. We're born again of who? God. Ah, don't go louder than that. We're born again of who? God. Come on, we're going to raise the roof. We're born again of again. We're born again of God. Do you know what? God is in you and God is outside of you. And he's smiling and singing over us. Wow, I'm sorry. I'll be going out in and out like this. So here we are. Now, your word is and pastor touched on it. This was hidden for generations and generations. But it was exposed to the Gentiles. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Yeah. Christ. Now, this is revelation time because we're, it, this is life in the Holy Spirit. And as we are together, each one of us who are born again of God and you who are not yet born again of God. Whoopsie, you're gonna be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now for the testimony. Worship. So John fell down before the angel. Don't you dare do that. Don't you dare do that. For the testimony. Worship Worship God. Worship God. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. You see, the word of God will not change, darlings. Yeah, and, and we can sing about God outside of us. But the moment we became born again of God, darlings. Now, we may give the illustration here that we did in Paul's place or whoever it was on Thursday night. But illustrations, you talked about pictures. You were talking about pictures. And when people, we God gave us our imagination. And when people get pictures, what does it do? You remember it much more. Hallelujah. Now, we're involved together. I may be just here, but we're equal. We're born again of God. It's Christ in us, the hope of glory. You see, you move from the interior. He's in there. Whoopsie. Hallelujah. And then, you see, it says Christ being, present tense, continually being formed in us. See, our soul is the last part of our salvation. So as we are born again of God, ah, you're great. I was a bit too small because I took off the shoes. Now, 
But you see, the thing is, darlings, it makes all the difference. I'm 74 years young, it, outside, but I'm being renewed day by day by the Holy Spirit of God. See, that's the word of God. And no matter what you're going through, darlings, the word of God will remain. The word of God will remain. I'm not talking about um, uh, slick stuff. I'm talking about God stuff. Do you see? And that's what has given me the freedom to be loved by God. It's God in me, God through me, and God glorified in me. And that's for each one of you. That was the word of God gave me. We are God's house of prayer for all nations. Isaiah 56, verse 7. That's nearly 38 years ago. We are God's house. Isaiah 56, verse 7. I'm coming to the Jews. I'm coming to Psalm 122. Just put your hand up when you say it's about time. God's house. People say, oh yeah, you're, ha you're a house of prayer for all nations. No. Absolutely not. We're God's house of prayer for all nations. We're God's house of prayer. It's his word. What's your vision? God's house of prayer for all nations. That's why God opens the doors to the nations. Isaiah, uh, India, 25 years going. Philippines and Kenya. Ukraine, other places. Do I say that smugly? No. I submit to God. I resist the devil. And he flees from me. This is for every one of you. Your calling, darlings. God has called each one of you. And he's called you by his word. He's called you by his word. Why do I say that? Because God is the word. The Lord Jesus Christ is the word made flesh. And dwelt among us. In the beginning, God. In the beginning, God created. Now, God is the first cause of everything. Whoopsie. Will you, will you go a whoop, whoop to the Lord or whatever? But come on, let's give him the honor. God is the first cause of everything. God is the first cause of everything. God is the first cause of everything. In the beginning, God created. In the beginning, God created. See, what's happening here is the dependency of yourself to move for God will leave you now. Because it's God in you. It's Christ. Whoopsie. In you, darlings. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ being formed in you. How can Christ be formed in Kachi? How can Christ be formed in us? Give us this day our daily bread. Take the word of God by the Spirit of God. Well, I couldn't be bothered because I just, I get yawning and I get tired and I got all of those things. He said, with the right motive, and you will receive from me. So what do we do? We ask God. We say, God, I'm not inclined. I really don't want to speak your word. Be honest. Give me a hunger and thirst for your word. And you know what happens? Whoopsie. Yahoo! Can't do it like you. Now, here's the thing. But here's the thing, darling. But it's the truth. That's why I have a freedom in the spirit of God. That's why I'm not a holy Joe or a holy Koch, like in the wrong sense. Religious, oh, don't be saying those things about God and all that kind of stuff. No, God wants us to be real. God is hungry for us to be hungry for him. And yeah, come on, girl. Come on, give him the glory. Hallelujah. And Philippines 2, verse 13, it's my baby. It's my suitor. I suck it. You know when a baby, well, when they're not maybe on the breast, but when they're getting the, the suitor, and they're, and you can hear the sucking, and oh, are you so fulfilled? Isn't it a lovely feel, a sense, sound, isn't it? 
I don't know if you understand, but God will teach you. That's all right. That's all right. But you see, you must ask for him. Whatever your needs are, give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day a course Hallowed be your name, Jesus. What a praise and worshippers here. Whoopsie, 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 whoa. Terry, you'll keep an eye on the time. Now, and I just trust God. Oh, there's so much. There's so much. Then, then there was Jehoshaphat. And, you know, the way we all have our own personality and God never wants us to lose our personality because God is in us. For God is at work in us. If you remember this, darlings, by the Spirit of God, he'll do it in you. For God is at work in you, both to will and to do, for his own good pleasure. God is at work in you, both to will and to do, for his own good pleasure. Will you say it with me? We'll say a little, little bit at a time. God is at work in me. Now point to yourself. God is at work in me. Both to will and do for his own good pleasure. Now, do you see what will happen is all you have to do is be his heart and his mouth and the body. So you'll do go with him. He's the senior. I said, he's the senior. He's older than you. Give me your hand. You see, he's the senior. I'm the junior. And he takes the first step. And I get that through the word of God. I get my instructions by the power of the Holy Spirit through the word of God. And God is at work in me, both to will and do for his own Good pleasure. And then, do you know what? Uh, the scariness. And when the devil comes to destroy you, you do exactly what Jesus did. Get behind me, Satan. Come on, girl. I am worshipping the Lord my God. And I'm serving him only. What's happening, darlings? Do you see... Speak the word of God. There's so much. We go over to, ah, we are so blessed. We go over to Wales. We go over to the Hebrides where the revival, and we meet with some of them are still alive. Some of them are still, and we get the opportunity to meet with them. It's just absolutely, and just the humbleness of them. Now, can I just say this? Tara, remind me, Psalm 122, please. And here's the thing. Now, you see, being real like this, this is going to make you relax. Because you do not have to pretend you're like Joyce Meyer or uh, like Reinhard Bonnke or whoever. Do you understand? You are you and you are unique. And you are God's prized possession. You are God's prized possession. Now, I know that was spoken to his own darling people. But now... We are, through the blood of Jesus, through the broken body of Jesus Christ, we've been reconciled back to God, and he has made the Jew and Gentile one true man. He's broken down that dividing wall of hatred. He's broken down that dividing wall of division. I love my brothers and sisters. and sisters. Now, where was I? Yeah, before that. For God is at work in you. Children of God, if this is the main thing, if this is the main thing, you will be able to take up, I'm telling you, you will be able to, God has opened the door for your calling. And he's waiting for you to understand it through the word of God, by the spirit of God. Every one of us has a calling. Of course, every one of us is called to witness to the saving grace of God through Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit. That's why it's 74 years young on the outside, but in the interior, in my spirit, I'm, I'm being renewed day by day, you see. So there is that on the outside, 
but the interior is where God lives. And the interior is when, in the beginning, God created it. In the beginning, God created Everything you were singing is going to come out. It's coming out now. In the beginning, God created Only God was there in the beginning. See, when, we, when, when God is first and when we preach God first, I'm talking about God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, the three divine persons in the one God, and they have their position. And when we know their position through the word of God, then we understand and we walk and we talk and we go with God. And then when we sin, we know we instantly where we've disobeyed. And of course, we know we can, and I don't say this cheaply, we can run back into God, our Father, through the precious Don't spend an hour or don't spend a day. I shouldn't have done it. All of that kind of stuff. No, run in. You see, you're a child of God. You're a son of the Most High God. Only God is eternal from eternity to eternity. Listen, I'm the filling in the sandwich and you are. Do you get it? Do you see? Do you get it? Do you get it? In the beginning, God created. In the beginning. But this is the truth. That's why I'm so alive. Sometimes Tara said, stand behind her in case she falls. <laughs> but I'm in the spirit. And this is what I got for your church as well. We're in the Holy Spirit because we're born again of God. We're not in the old flesh. We're not in the old man, the old nature. Cheery by to that. By faith, by faith, we're in the Holy Spirit. By faith, we're in the Holy Spirit. And here we are. The acts of the Holy Spirit is in each one of us. The acts of the Holy Spirit, they're in me. Because now I am the righteousness of God and you are. God made him who knew no sin. See, I'm not afraid to talk about sin because the answer is Jesus. The Lord Jesus Christ, he did the will of God the Father. This will help you. God made him who knew no sin. I think that's 1 Corinthians 6, verse 25 or something like that. But you'll have to look it up yourself. God made him who knew no sin. Hey, what do you think? The sinless one Say, God, you get out of the way. I'm the only one that can take the sin nature and the sin branches. What do you think of that? God made him, so God is so wise. God is so wise. God made him who knew no sin to become sin for us. Now, the purpose is, so we might. Now, when we see that might, that's our choice. Well, I made that 38 years ago. So we might become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. There's no mixture. One of you said it, pastors. One of you said it. There is no mixture. Maybe it was when we were praying in there. And there's no mixture. No, the old man, I have been crucified with Christ. You have been crucified with Christ. Now, I've said these things for years until I got it by the Spirit of God in me. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I, the old Koch. It's no longer I who live, but it's Christ who lives in me and lives in you, you who are born again of God. So I purpose by God in me to exalt him because he's broken down the dividing wall of hostility through his sons in the physical through the flesh and he spilled out his blood for us oh the blood of Jesus oh the blood of Jesus I see it doesn't matter how I would think you're looking it doesn't matter it's I know once your spirit is open to God God is in you and God is in me and God is meeting with God in you. 
Whoopsie. You see, the reality. So you can go with your calling wherever you have to go, to India or whatever. We've been going for 25 years. It doesn't matter wherever. God will open the doors when you become obedient. And take up, and I know in this church, I know it because it's Christ in you, the hope of glory. It's Christ in you, the hope of glory. And Christ is being, and now it's up to, it's not up to, but the pastors, the fivefold ministry, now will help you so that you are built up into the head. Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So we're one in the Holy Spirit. We're one in the faith of God. It's absolutely, I have been crucified. You have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer you or I, the old man who lives, but it's Christ who lives in me and in you. And the life that I live now in the flesh, God has covered everything. And the life that I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God. I've even shifted. God gave me the faith, but I've shifted into the Lord Jesus Christ's faith. And it says in the old King James, it says, I will not frustrate the grace of God. Don't frustrate the grace of God. Now we're going to say this together because I don't know if I did or not, but Holy Spirit, for God is at work in you. Now, I, I, that, that, I can't hear you. <laughs> For God is at work. In no, in you. In That's in me. In me. For, now, come on, we're going to say it. And you see, once we say it by the power of the Holy Spirit, then it's up to the Holy Spirit. This is part of his position and his function in the body of Christ. Now, he has another function outside of the body of Christ, but in the body of Christ. Then he'll bring it back to our remembrance. Do you understand? We often try to work out this and that and the other, but he'll bring it back. Do you see? Once we're open to him, now I don't want anyone to sleep. Shake yourselves. Come on, darlings. Now you who did the Yahoo the other night, shh, come on, shake, 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 Oh, wow. <laughs> and you see, and you know, if you're religious, you'd say, oh, uh, that's disgraceful. God is saying, come on, more, 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 more. Hallelujah. <laughs> He's brilliant. Yeah, praise God. So, for God is at work in me, he said. Both to will and do. For his own good pleasure. Philippines 2 verse 13. Now, do you know what I must do immediately? I must do. Go, we're going to go to Psalm 122. Amen. Amen, darling. And we love our brothers. We love our sisters. Psalm 122. 22. Yeah. Okay, Kachi. I was glad when they said to me, I have 10 minutes left. Okay. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet have been standing within your gates. O oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem is built as a city that is compact together where the tribes go up. The tribes of the Lord to the testimony of Israel to give thanks to the name of the Lord. For thrones are set there for judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray, pray, pray. I was so happy to hear that the intercessors are coming. Pray, 
pray, pray, pray, pray, pray, pray, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. It's the city of peace. It's God's peace. And the King of kings and the Lord, the Lord is coming back to rule and reign <laughs> as he left the earth. Woohoo! Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls. Prosperity within your palaces. For the sake of my brethren. Oh, I love it. Do you? Whoopsie. For the sake of my brethren and companions, I will now say, I want you to say this with me, and we'll say it three times. Peace be within you. Peace be within you. Peace be within you. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your good. Oh, give, Lord, just stretch these eight minutes now. Oh, there's so much I want to say. But darlings, you know, you know that it's Christ in you, the hope of glory. God is the first cause of everything. In the beginning, God created. Now, as we honor, I can, by the Spirit of God now, and others do, we can spend hours. I forget about my age. Do you understand? Because it's in the spirit. Do you see? It's in the spirit. It's in the spirit. It's in the spirit. So stop saying it's 60 or 65 or 70. Oh, I'm too. No, uh, my life, I'm, I, I'm, it's oh, a new adventure with God. It's always a new adventure with God. Yeah, and that's for you. That's for each one. Each one of you. So don't believe the lie of the enemy. So he, now, just to say that I was delivered and I want you to hear this by the Spirit of God, walking down by the river Barrow with my dogs 38 years ago, I was delivered from depression. It was like a bag of potatoes on my back. I was delivered from the fear of death. I was delivered from a temper. God took three demons out of Kachi. I'm talking about they're under the feet of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Now, anyone, quickly come up. Anyone who has depression, a fear, I had a fear of death, or a temper, immediately. The depression left me. God delivered me, brother. I wouldn't have understood the terminology of the Bible. He delivered me of depression, and he delivered me of the fear of death. And he gave me two scriptures, and I'm not going to share them now because it's too late. And, but I said, God, you didn't deliver me from the temper. Whoopsie. And what he said to me was, and it wasn't an audible voice, it was in here. He said, do you want to go through me? or around me. I knew exactly in the second what that meant. I go to Mass. I was, my background was Catholic. I go to Mass. I go into the old folks' home. I'd help and all of that, clean the toilets, clean whatever, and all of that stuff. And then I would bring them to shopping because there wasn't buses or anything where I lived in the country. Do you know what I mean? But God, I knew God said, do you want to go through me? I went through him. That meant I was consumed. I was possessed totally, spirit, soul, and body by God. And that's the way it's been. And the fire and the flame and the life of the spirit is real in me. Now, darlings, please come quickly because I don't want to get kicked out of here. Whoever has depression, to shame on the devil, not in you. Come, darlings. Come, my sweethearts. Come, my darlings. Come up, my sweethearts. Come. You see, I have no fear of asking the people come because it's God in me. Hallelujah. Come. Now, come on, pastors. Come on. Now, is this? Now, you're going to put your hands up. Come, my babies. Come up immediately. Come to your daddy. To Christ Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. Quickly, my sweethearts, my sweethearts. Now, is it depression? Hands up if it's depression. 
Okay. Is it a fear of death? Okay. Is it a temper, anger? Okay. So, okay. So go for it, darling. Go for it now. I'm coming down now. But I want, oh, Papa Pasakia. Anyone else? Anyone else that's ashamed? I'm going to break that shame over you right now in the name of Jesus. Tara, would you pray with the people? I know you want to play because she's a worshiper. Um, oh, Rabba Pasakia, Lada. Anyone else? My darling. Gently, gently. Now. And then it's for the baptism in the Holy Spirit. Come on, my darling. Come on. Shame on the devil. Shame on the devil. Shame on the devil. Oh, papa, papa. born again of God. Are you born again of God? No. No.
permission. Have I got permission for anyone for the feeling of the Holy Spirit? But I haven't got over my tears. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. And you're going to get into trouble. Now, darlings, God said for that impartation to get hungry and thirsty for the word of God. Come forth, darlings. Come forth immediately. Come forth immediately, darlings. And for the fullness of the baptism in the Holy Spirit. Come, my babies. Come, my babies. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. For the fullness of the baptism in the Holy Spirit. Whoopsie. Now, I tell you what. You're going to be on fire. 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 Now, uh, he, he, he can't blame me because I asked him. <laughs> so, come on. Now, who's for, who's for, darlings, for who needs to have ask God for the hunger and thirst for the word of God? Hands up. Hands up. Babies, 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 babies. And who's here for the fullness of the baptism? You want that flame to fire whoopsie the power of God the power of God now brother you must get your people to help pray yeah. or will I just do it all in one, oh, we'll do it all in one. Just okay do you know do you know that uh, uh, Smith Wigglesworth when he was in Sweden and this has gone back years ago but um, the government quickly made a law that no no religious nut as they would call can lay hands on the people. Now, there was thousands. Do you know what? Do you know what God our daddy said? He said, you just speak my word and I will send it and I will deliver and I will do the work. So, Father, please, darling, darling put your hands out to the people. Pastor, put, come up. Put your hands because you're in charge of these darling people. You're in charge of these darling, 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 darling. Shh. Oh, Papa, sir. Darling, sweetheart. Oh, Papa, Papa. He loves you. He loves you. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, for the hunger and thirst for your word. God, on behalf of your darling people, I ask. Now, Paul, each one of you, just open up to Daddy. And you're, you have a right to live. Your home is in the throne room of God. Another time when I come back, maybe they'll allow me share. In the name of Jesus, you, your eternal home is in the throne room of God and the Lamb. In the name of Jesus. So don't stay outside. Father, I ask for you to give your people the hunger and the thirst for your word in the mighty 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 name of our lord and savior jesus christ and the cross of jesus christ is the power of god unto salvation the message of the gospel of christ is the power of god and the power of god is upon you now you may find some yawning and that kick it out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you're the sons of the Most High God. And he's the possessor of heaven and earth. Oh, Papa, pa, pa. and he lives within you, darling. Do, 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 do. He lives within you. God is at work in you, both to will and to do for his own good pleasure. And now in Acts, put your hands down just for a little minute. God has mercy on you. Hallelujah. God has mercy on you. Now, here we are in Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Jesus said to all his boys who are his disciples. And he said, no, 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 no. Don't rush out. He said, wait until the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And you will be filled with power and then you will witness this is what Jesus said the Holy Spirit is in the body of Christ 
He said, he, then you will witness me in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria. He took his locks off when he was telling us. <laughs> in the name of Jesus and to the ends of the earth. Do you understand? Now you are receiving the Holy Spirit, of course, is in you because you're born again of God, but you hadn't got the power to serve. But now, the Holy Spirit is upon you, and he's filling you with the power. With the power, darlings. Now close your eyes and put your hands up to him now, darling. So you'll witness him. He said, me, that's Jesus, in Jerusalem. In Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. I want to say by faith, I believe for each one of you, you have opened your heart. You're God's prized possession, and you're not going to live on, on half fuel or, or, or flat tires. You're going to be pumped up by the Holy Ghost, and God's going to be speaking to you. God is going to be speaking to you, darlings. He's going to be speaking to you, so listen and wait. Maybe it's in a dream, maybe it's in a vision, or it's when you're reading the Word of God. It'll pop out at you in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. We bless you and we thank you so much for the privilege of being born again of you, for serving you. And I'm finishing with this, and then I'm passing it over to our pastor. And I'm saying, Holy Holy, holy, you are Lord, you are God, you are Almighty, who was, who is, and who is to come. Now I'm going to verse 11. You are worthy, O Lord, to receive your glory, your honor, and your power. Why? For you created all things, and by your will, by your will, whoopsie, by your will, we exist and we're created. I thank God for each one of you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Praise God. Stay in this moment. If you'd like to, to stay and, and receive prayer or pray for one another, you're welcome to do that. Just stay. Um, you're welcome to leave. Just go in his name. Christ lives in you, the hope of glory. Yeah? That's our, that's our stance. That's how we live. That's how we walk. That's how we work. That's how we relate to one another, Christ in you. No more striving, no efforts of our own strength, but it's all him. It's all him. Yeah. Be blessed. <laughs> We're going to have some baptisms today, but it's too wet. They might get wet. So... Um, <laughs> They'll be in the mud on the way over, so, um, so that'll be happening another time. God bless you guys.